a newer game that's coming out, say, in like now and anywhere between now or maybe a month ago to the launch of the PS5. It's like, well, I'll just wait until the PS5 version comes out when it's at its full capability to buy that. Or I'll just wait to buy some games that are, by the way, going to be more expensive on the PS5. They're going to be like $70 a piece now. Is there a way in here? Uh, you might have to go up top or behind, maybe? What the heck? Oh, there we go. I couldn't lift off. Ooh, there's a crate. There we go. But you know what I mean? It's like, you're, why would you spend the money on a game like Squadrons when you're saving up for a game, your, the PS5 and potentially Spider-Man Miles Morales? And well, yeah, and why would you games? buy Spider-Man Miles Morales on PS4 if you're going to get it on PS5? It or, make any sense. or why would you buy... Uh, I don't know. Why would you buy Call of Duty? If, if you were going to buy Call of Duty at launch, why wouldn't you just wait the extra couple weeks or whatever it'll be to get it on PS5? Well, that's the same. Like, we're going to get NBA 2K. and Yeah, I'm actually going to play it with you this year. Yeah, it's going to be a blast. And, and that game's been out for, I think, a month now, roughly. And I, I'm, I'd love to play it, but it's on the PS4 and the My Career, which is, I think, one of the biggest parts of the game, if not the biggest part of the game does not transfer over to the new console. Are we done over here pretty much? Yeah, I think so. Okay. So, I'm gonna so, like, there's no point. I'd literally just be spending hours getting my guy leveled up and then starting back at ground zero. So, I'll not buy the PS4 version, which is what it seems like a lot of people are doing, especially keeping in mind that uh, the NBA 2K20 came out for free as a free game of the month a few months ago. So just play that if you want to get your NBA fix on. And then wait till 2K21 comes out on the PS5. And I think that's, I guess, a problem with Squadrons, is that they just, unfortunately, maybe didn't time this the best and should have waited for the PS5 to come out and marketed it a little bit better. I mean, there just wasn't a lot of marketing for it. In some ways, I feel the same way about this. This came out, what, probably a month and a half ago now, maybe? I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, and, it was about a month and a half ago. And it kind of would have been better if they had... How do I get down there? I don't... Sorry, I'm not trying to waste a bunch oh, of our time. Go. I'd just like to grab these while we're here. Oh, of course. Might as well. Um, but, you know, that's something I was thinking about this game, too, is what would it have been capable of on next gen? And some more time to develop and to work out some of the kinks and even add in more characters. Like, you maybe start with the core and then you have cameos from the other guys, like Spider-Man, Black Panther, She-Hulk, people like that. And there's a bit more depth to this game, and I don't know, I just, I agree. I think there's, unfortunately, a bit of lost potential with that. Yeah, it's too bad, but, I mean, I still like this game. I'm, I'm not in love with it. It's not, you know, to me, some revolutionary thing, but I think it could be much better over time, and I enjoy it for what it is now. I don't really get the outrage around it. Some people were... One thing I hate is the dodging, by the way, because I'm telling you... I'm doing it when it's telling me to do, and half the time, yeah, I don't dodge it. No, I have the, I have the same issue. Like I'm time. I'm dot. No, I'm seriously when it says dodge, I'm dodging. Yes. No, I know. It's I, almost I mean, like I still you have, have the issue. You have to play. not do it when they tell you. You almost have to do it after, right, or before. I, I don't know. I can't even tell because the dodging system is just not great. It's but not. overall, I like the cosmetics. I like the characters. I've had a fun time. I like the music. I like the world. I don't like how dumb the companions are. Like, yeah, I wish they were more helpful. They're hopefully. idiots. They're just yeah. stupid. Um, that I don't like. But other than that, jeez, what the heck was what that? What was that? So things like that are just weird because it's not game-breaking, but it almost pulls you out of the action because you're thinking about how, oh, Kamala Khan just ripped across the entire screen because the game is weird. <laughs> yeah. And it did. It's, it's not super smooth, and if it was on the PS5, maybe it doesn't have those issues. Yeah, and if it had more time. I think we're seeing a lot of games that are rushed right now, you know, and yeah. released just to get them out there. I think Call of Duty's going to be the same way. They've... Does this do something? I don't think so. What the heck? Weird. Okay, maybe it was a turret and I took it out or something. No, that's probably what it is, yeah. Um, I'll move on here in a second, but I think we're—I think Call of Duty is going to be the same way, where it's going to be rushed for release, and I think they're going to do a lot of stuff. There's been a lot of reports of cut content, you know, just in the in the news cycle, and them for Cold War, yeah, yeah. and them having problems with being able to finish the game, and really all indications are this game should have been delayed, even if it comes out and it's fine. Think about how much better it could have been if they had another year. There is no reason why companies like Activision can't take a year off other than just, we don't want to. We'll do what Ubisoft did. Yeah, with, uh, they came back stronger. Yeah, they totally, like, 
That is switched what it up. was. It wasn't turret. It was, okay. But yeah, it's, they switched up everything about the game, about Assassin's Creed, and people really liked it. And there were some people, I think, that were frustrated by it. I'll be honest, like, I, I really I liked Origins, and Odyssey was fun. I never finished Odyssey, because I felt like it was just, for me, it was getting a bit too grindy. And I know it's a lot of people love the game, and I still think it was a good game. But I personally get frustrated when I'm not able to continue playing a game, because I'm not a high enough level to do it. Uh, but right. I just want to keep playing the game and enjoying the game. It's like, all right, now you've done this level, or now you've, yeah, now you've beaten this level. So now you have to grind and do a bunch of side missions and build yourself up so you can go on to the next one. I, there are some cool ideas I think behind that, but for me that it just got to be too grindy. I don't mind doing that to some capacity, but it got so grindy. But with all that in mind, they still totally changed everything about Assassin's Creed with that those last two installments so and people like it people are excited for the new Valhalla Assassin's Creed coming out too the Viking one so give developers some time to figure things out and they can do some really cool things I completely agree yeah I think it's just too bad that there's such a push to get everything out now was was there a purpose to coming in here I thought there'd uh, be something here like a I chest there's a chest to your right I know I saw so if you go there left and then out to your I swear I saw one up here, to your right. Yeah, oh, right that's I, I didn't see it. So maybe it's maybe it's just me, and fair enough. But the non-gold ones, I can't really see them very easily. So if you ever see them and I don't, please just tell me. Of course. Because I, you know, maybe it's just me. But maybe other people can see it very easily. But a lot of that stuff kind of blends in when you're moving. And there's a weird motion blur on this game. So like, if you're looking... The, the so you see the details in the background. Yeah. If you move, especially when flying or even when doing this or turning the camera, it's almost like the vision blurs slightly. Yeah. I don't know how to describe it. Maybe I mean I guess you could say that's normal too, but it's makes it hard for me to see these things, especially when I'm turning or moving anything more than just a brisk jog. Right. right. Which Iron Man is pretty constantly yeah. moving He's, quicker. Yes, he certainly is. Ooh, what is this? We should be almost done with this mission. I think so, yeah. Let's do this! Wait, is it the guy from Killzone? It looks like the guy from Killzone mixed with Crisis. What a spicy cameo! Oh, that's interesting. I have no idea what my, uh, what my... Bounties were or whatever. You know, the, the Oh, like your fashion things. things? Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. So That's right. I think you've gotten a lot of them, to be honest with you. Oh, really? Yeah. I just thought we got one. Who is this guy? Is this guy... A, does he matter? Oh, that's the big one. Is it the big one? Oh, <laughs> Well, if it is, he's dead. That so. took you no time at all. Yeah, because I'm level 5,000, dude. <laughs> Bunch of betas around here. He's probably my favorite to play as. Iron Man? Yeah. He's really fun, dude. I found out that I... I like, after... Playing with all, I really like Thor. Thor's probably my favorite, but Iron Man's a blast. You know, it's weird. I really like Cap in the intro. You'd think Cap's oh, fun too. Yeah. Yeah, you'd think he wouldn't be that fun, but how he played in the jeez. What? Help you're in me, trouble, dude. Help me, Fuck, please. If you stand here, wait. Your I'll teammates can revive you. Boom! You're back. Oh. You're allowed two down but not out. The third one, you are dead. I didn't even look at my health, so that would probably be a good thing to pay attention <laughs> yeah. to. No, you did it, dude. Four stars, you're on your way. Wait, really? I didn't get five stars? That no, sucks, because I died. Yeah. That's lame. I don't think you can open these without Hulk, uh, Kamala, or Thor. Really? Mm -hmm. I would think that would open it. You would think? No, I think you need those big characters in order to do it. I, know I didn't trust you, so I wanted to try it myself. Because no, I don't makes trust sense. you as a person, as an individual. It's, everything actually. adds up. Anything about you, I don't trust. You'll need to take out the security. When you tell me, like, oh, how, how's your day going? You say good, I say, oh, so it's bad. Huh? I don't believe you. You're a fraud and a phony, and so no one a likes liar. you. Why are they teaching me how to do range stuff now? I couldn't have beaten this mission if I didn't know how to do that. <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> Hey, well, let's, this is an important tutorial. Let's teach him this tutorial now after he's gone through the whole mission. <laughs> Alright, do a takedown. Nice. Yep. I can't even tell what's going this on This is there. madness. I couldn't even see. I think you need to pull out. 
No. And that's it. I don't think I will. Don't do it. But I think that's what you need to do. You have to pull. Oh. Oh yeah, I will in a second. But I'd like to clear the room. Sure, sure. Or clear part of the room. At least I'm not getting shot while I do it. Okay, Excellent. so let's just pull. And then you need to destroy it with all of your might. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. I'll do that. Nice. Good work. Is that it? There we Boom. go. Boom! And there's just one more across the room, and you have conquered this mission. I do think maybe it's just me being bad, but just a lot of the aiming and stuff is weird. I enjoy this game, but that's kind of the stuff I'm talking about with, oh, you know, would this have been better if we had maybe <laughs> delayed it? Jeez, that was crazy. Oh, okay. What were you saying though? If, uh, just, just if we had delayed this game, would it have been better because of that stuff? Yeah, it's, it, it's, uh, it's a legitimate question because there are. I mean, we've seen some glitches. I remember in the God mode earlier in the Let's Play that we saw that was uh, quite silly. We saw Kamala glitching through mountains. I mean, there was just uh, there's a lot of questionable things that maybe could have been tightened up with a little bit longer of a release date. You know. I certainly think so, A little so, bit more yeah. time, I should say. But. Yeah, I certainly think so. You know, that's the one thing. Is there anyone else in this mission? Oh, never mind. They'll just take care of it. I was going to shoot it with the unit beam. That did it. Let's get in there. Nice. All right, let's get inside. We should be at the end. Wait, I'm at five stars. Dude, nice. you thought I couldn't get to five stars because you, you don't believe in me. Nope. That's the problem. You don't believe in me. But I believe in me. Well, I never will. And I believe in us. Really? Yeah. Wow, dude. I believe in us. So you were a prisoner too? Why'd they capture you if you aren't inhuman? According to Tarleton, anyone with powers is a threat. They made sure I'll never use mine again. Altered my physiology so if I change size, I'll die. I'm so sorry. That's fucked up. That's pretty messed up. Dude. That's really messed up. Why wouldn't you just kill him at that point? That's, that's a little bad. Tarleton. Yeah, Tarleton's basically... He's like one of those Black Labs guys, you know what I mean? Black like, Labs? Well, you know, like the Nazi type oh, thing. Oh, yeah. Running experiments on people. Dude, you're right. Tarleton. Tarleton, that's not okay. Not cool, bro. He just says, I'm sorry. He's he goes, sorry about that, guys. And we signed the Treaty of Versailles number two. It went well the first time. Let's do it again. Why not one more time? Dude, can he you... He makes a YouTube apology video, starts it with... <gasps> <sighs> yeah, they all have to start with that. Yeah. Can you believe, by the way, that people were stupid enough to propose the Treaty of Versailles That's as a, a real thing? That's a real bad treaty, dude. What's what, the reason what the that, hell? I mean, that it sent Germany into a real bad spot. Yeah, and then they were surprised. Like, oh, wow, we set this country up to have no food or money or anything. And, wow, they followed some crazy guy. <laughs> what a surprise. That's kind of weird. Yeah, it's so dumb. Unexpected. I don't remember who it was, but somebody, when they were working on that treaty, said, if we sign this, we're going to cause another ma another world war worse than the first one. And they said, well, either you sign it or we'll replace you. What? Yeah. So Someone they, said that, too? Yes. Jeez, dude. Yes. They they straight up warned them, like, hey, this is a terrible treaty. If we if we push this off on Germany, we're going to cause another world war. Oh, my gosh. Is there a way in there? Yeah, I think if you go back around, you have to work your way through the labs, but then you can get in there. So if you go, yep, right here, take a left. Oh, no, you need to be a heavy boy. So huh. I guess you can not. Interesting, okay, well, whatever. Shame me for picking my character. Yeah, Is dude. there anything special Iron Man can do that they can't? Uh, he can fly? Does that mean anything? Uh, Thor can fly though too. So, you have the Unibeam? And you're made of metal. Of the right place. Oh, okay. Network. Seems like a weird balancing issue. No, it's really cool. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, my bad. I misunderstood. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Please work fast, Jarvis. Uh, oh, you've got a bunch of big boys. Now is the time. Well done. <laughs> they were hitting me while I was getting in. <laughs> hey, hold on. I'm suiting up. Wait, so I have an idea. Yep. All right, here's my idea. Okay. We enter photo mode. Oh, yeah. I go down here. Thumbnail. People are going to say, why are you doing this? For a thumbnail. It's free real estate. Yeah, you like that? All right, let's do thumbnail there. Oh, that's hot. But then also, let's, uh, let's you know, switch the, maybe the filter. Maybe we'll go with uh, <laughs> Vivid, you know? Ooh, Vivid's nice. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. That's right? a nice option. It's a job well done. 
Great form. People, people are gonna, good. People are gonna say, "Well, why is he doing that?" I don't know. Why are you doing what, anything you do in your life? Wow. Think about that. And how about you smoke that out, your smoker? Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Oh. oh. Yeah, tough pill to swallow. Tough pill to swallow. I hate those insults where it's like, "Why don't you take that apart and chew on it or whatever?" It's something that doesn't make any sense. You're like, "What are you talking? What? What do you what mean? Would it chew on anything? What are you talking about? What about no. my face? Get that out of my face." If I'm gonna really do dumb. anything, I'm gonna suck on it. I'm not gonna chew on it. <laughs> I never chew on anything. Alright, alright, alright. Power, power. Nice. Boom! Nice. Unabeam! That did not do as much as I thought it would. No, it did not. You got a nice angle here. Well, that's it! Yes! Yep, yep, yep. Yep. And. Is that it? It might still be alive! How? <laughs> How? You're dealing with the Optimus Prime himself, dude. Yeah, I know, he does survive a lot in those movies. He does. You know, that's another thing, by the way, that I enjoy those movies. People, yeah. people hate those movies, but that that's sort of the Fast and Furious syndrome for me, where I'm like, oh, that's fun. They're mission all... chain complete, the Invincible Iron Man? Well done. Wait, we can we completed a mission chain? You got, dude, you got like a legendary reward. Should I equip it? I don't see why not. Did you say no? Yeah, I said no. Please don't, re don't equip it. Wait, so do I get... Do I get some kind of legendary. costume for that? No, you just get like a legendary piece of gear. Oh, I thought I'd get a costume for the mission chain. Yeah. Well, maybe. You might have gotten a pattern that you could go do later. Uh, we've got to be almost done. Proceed to next another elevator. Wait, if you go, is it back the other way? Well, yeah, but I wanted to see if I could get this. I can't? Is that the thing we talked about before? Oh, no, you can get that one. Oh, okay. Well, I thought you were telling me I can't. Actually, I can, I can help you get this one. Actually. Really? You want to? Absolutely. All right. Fantastic. This one, so this one took me a little while to figure out. I, I feel bad. We're playing this a little longer than we thought we would. That is a okay. Well, what are you doing later? You're going to some dinner with your family? With my madre. I swear we did this. Did we do this somewhere else? We have definitely done this before. Yeah, they're all in the same spot. This is not unique. To so, is this your birth mother? It is indeed. It is uh, indeed, yes. T has several mothers and fathers. Quite very a few. Versatile. It's very cool. There we go. And then the last one here. Over time, we'll just slowly reveal the identity of your family. I will dox myself eventually. No, what we have to do is we have to give those kids who hacked uh, Xbox. I don't know if they were kids. They're probably like adults. Who knows? Uh, we have to give them your family's addresses. That's a really good point. <laughs> we should give it to the Lizard Squad and let them do their worst. What happened to Lizard Squad? <laughs> Maybe that's who's left, is they're hacking Arkham Origins. I kind of do wonder what happened to them. They they just kind of went away. You yeah. know, a lot of people, I, not, I don't know about Lizard Squad, but a lot of people in the just the hacking community, though, they've kind of cracked down on it. With certain yeah. things, people have been arrested more in recent years. It used to be cool, kind of, I guess. I still think it's cool if you're a white hat hacker. You know, you're like the guy who's like uh, pointing out security vulnerabilities in, in a system and helping right. companies and stuff. I don't know if we can, but Trolling to a certain degree used to be even cool, but, uh, That can still be funny. Still can be, for sure. I think where it crosses the line for me is like purposely ruining people's lives. Like going for a goof and not... And not in a harmful way, I think it's good, but... Yeah, the purposely ruining people's lives is where it just crosses the line for Indeed. me. Close to those terminals so I can infiltrate their network. We must control all Jarvis will infiltrate you right now. Hey, could you tell me what you thought about the, um... About the Spider-Man face change real quick? Oh, yes! We, we, like, got onto it and then we stopped for some reason. Right, right, right. Uh, I don't like it, to be honest. I don't either. I don't like how he looks. I think I loved the design in the first one. I thought he looked great, and uh, now he doesn't look great. What are you fighting, Mr. Freeze here? I know, what's going on here? You! Doesn't he look too young? To me, he looks younger than Miles. Dude, and that's the problem. He looks younger than Miles. It doesn't look good. Uh, I shouldn't say that. It looks good, obviously, because the graphics look good. Yeah. But I'm saying the person himself does not fit uh, Peter anymore. I mean, why would you change a game that's already been created? That's had a lot of success, that people thoroughly enjoyed, and you uh, decide that you 
need to change the person's face. Did I you read it. why they said? Yeah, because it was about like making it easier for you know the. I, I get it, like with the face and stuff, but honestly, I feel like you could make that work. So that's. I don't know. Yeah, that's the thing is I don't. It, they never said they couldn't do it. They said it would work better. So to me, it kind of seems like they could have just done it the way they started, but it was too hard. Or they didn't want to, or just didn't. Yeah, I, and I get it. It's, I'm not in that, and I don't know the process, so I guess I understand that it's got its challenges that I am not aware of. But, I mean, at the same time, I, that's who Peter Parker was on the PS4. That's just what it was. And so to change that, to make it a little bit easier, I mean, I guess fine, but... I don't like how it looks, and I think they should have chosen someone else if they were going to do that. I don't think that it looks normal. Uh, it's such a giant change, and he looks legitimately 12 years younger in that uh, iteration of Peter. Yeah, so it's weird because he was supposed to be 23. I thought he looked like he was about 25 as Peter Parker. Yeah. 25, 26 is how he looked to me. But I guess he was supposed to be 23, so he already looked a little older than he was. Which, you know what? Here's the thing, though, too. He lives a hard life. That kind of makes sense. Right. He's extremely stressed out. That does actually affect that stuff. Oh, of course, yeah. Um, and so, I guess to me, to go with such a massive change to the perceived age, to the point where he looks like he's maybe wow. maybe just graduating high school? That's exactly... With a baby face? Yeah. Already? It's like going from... Not quite this drastic, but it's like going from current day Tobey Maguire to Tom Holland. Yeah. That's kind of what it feels like. It's so different. It's taking off. And they probably should have just started with a younger guy and kept that in mind if they were going to go to the next console. I don't know. Yeah, they should have kept that in mind in the like when they originally did this. Yes. So I guess we can head back. And let's just, on, on the way, can we grab our skill points and stuff? Of course. We... That didn't go quite according to plan. We've got some valuable research samples, but AIM is far more powerful than I had anticipated. And they've got so many of my people. We have to stop them. Agreed, Kamala, but we need some time to regroup. When Tony gets here with the um, Chimera, it's mad. we'll be in a much better position to go on the offensive. Can swing by the lab real quick? Okay. Sure. But we can't wait too much longer. Okay, head back to the anthill and we'll talk about next steps. <laughs>